Okay, go ahead, whoever. Oh. All right, Coach. Um, uh, six years, I'm sure it feels like a long time. You guys are going back to Des Moines. Just uh, what's it feel like right now? Um, it's exhilarating. Uh, you know, I've been very spoiled in my coaching career. Been there 18 times. And, uh, you know, like I said, the six years are the longest drought. I know I sound like a spoiled person, Coach, but that's what you, you fight and you, you dream of. And you want it for the kids that you're coaching, not for me, the coach. It's the players and the parents. And so I'm sorry I'm out of air. I've been fighting pneumonia. So um, it's just a great, great win. But Dennis is so good. We just couldn't get a knockout punch on them. Kept hitting, they hit a long three. And then we just split our free throws there. But uh, we decided to go man because I didn't want to give them a three and have them beat us by a point. And so, but you had Johnny, our best defender on Weavers. He got picked, got to the hood, we didn't foul him. We said, do not foul. Got the timeout. And we were going to go to Connor, but Johnny was the second option. High top, what a great pass. And Johnny, what great awareness. We put Will in for uh, uh, Connor Freeman for Will McLaughlin. Just the fact is uh, maybe a perimeter shot or a shot. Well, he fought, he got Gonar came to help, and uh, there's Connor Frame to clean it up. Thank you. And thank God he made it, because man, I was I don't know if I could have got through overtime. Yeah, you, I mean, the last minute didn't go quite as smoothly as you wanted, but then you have a moment like that. Oh, the you know these kids just play so hard, and Charlie Weavers was not going to let them go down without a fight, and uh, you know. We thought we were doing a great job defensively. One bad play we had, we fouled Weavers, and they got two free throws, but the clock stopped. And I think we're up sixth at that point. That was a, a you know, you can't foul with 35 seconds left, stop the clock, it's something like that. You know, but our boy the Malacca not trying. Earl Meyer made a couple huge free throws. Will McLaughlin's offensive rebound off the missed free throw was huge. And then he made the free, one of the two, I think he split them, didn't he? And making the one was huge. Um, you know, obviously makes him two. Uh, we would love that, but uh, Connor Connor Bruck was was hurt. He hurt his hip somewhat, bruised it pretty good at the Glenwood game. You could tell he was off kilter. But Magnuson was terrific on him the first half. Uh, they had a great defensive game plan. Second half, Connor loosened things up, and uh, I thought I thought our defensive game plan. We started out in the triangle, and that got we held Weavers to no points the first half. And uh, then we had to go 2-3 because Fink was hitting, Magnuson was hitting, Hayden. and Hayden. And their role, those guys stepped up, and that's what they had to do. We were rolling the dice. You know, I think Fink, no, was number 20. Is that? 20's Hayden. Hayden hits about a, what, a 25-footer? Yeah. 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 I mean, we're up five. Yeah. And you're good. we just need a rebound, I told our guys. And then he knocks it down from 25 feet. Oh, my gosh. But, um, you know, we, they put intense pressure on us. We handled the ball. We did, we did a great job. Connor Bruck made, enough free, made the free throws. I know, I know he missed a couple. But, hey, he's not invincible. I mean, he's, he's a great player, though. And uh, Johnny Munson never took him out one minute tonight. And uh, he's just a workhorse. When you look at this team, this is a team that maybe a lot of people to start the year didn't expect to be here, um, maybe with a little bit of a lack of size to make it feel a little bit sweeter that you guys were able to accomplish this. Well, it, it definitely is. You know, I know a lot of to beat Atlantic three times in tournament trail, and then to go to Glenwood and beat them on their court, um, a district final game. Oh, it was ranked eighth in the state, and then to come here. And I was not. We we're not surprised that winner said uh, that Dennis came out of the other side. You look at what defensive they held Atlantic to 42, held Crescent to 42, held Winter set to 38. This team is a terrific team. And when you got two All-State candidate players, college basketball players, um, it, it's just it's so tough. But our guys were resilient, getting Will McLaughlin healthy at Christmas, and then he, we were peeking out the right time. And uh, Connor Frame got him healthy. He was sick for three weeks, and so everybody stepped up. Curran played a little bit as a freshman. Aiden Hall didn't get in tonight, but he, they've all done a great job. And Earl Meyer hit a huge three, had a couple huge plays for us. So everybody stepped up. Is this victory the way you had to do it, the way you had to get it, a little bit indicative of this team and how they had to scrap for everything? It is. We told, I told our guys in practice, and I told them pregame before we left after the shoot-around, fellas, this is going to be a 32-minute game. We've been in so many of these games this year, and we've won them. And we said that, we win these games. And you believe, you believe, you just instill that 
that you believe. You know, we learned a lesson against uh, Carroll. We didn't get the foul done. We probably should have pulled that one out, but we got beat there. But, um, you know, these guys, it's a 32-minute game, and uh, just didn't quit. And uh, when you got Johnny Munson on the floor and Connor Brock and Hightoff, and I want to say kudos to Cody Christian, our other senior. He's an MVP for me because what he does in the scout team for us uh, is Im immense. He's incredible, does a great job, senior, knows his role, and uh, he's got a great attitude.